YouTube, time to tap in in today's chat today. What I got for y'all is the highly requested mobility and mechanics video. Now, my biggest strong suit as a Warzone player is 110% being able to be mobile in gunfights, put a kid on skates, break ankles, and make a whole squad look silly just off of some simple mechanics that you can abuse and use within the game. I'm breaking this video up into three different parts, so we're gonna build this thing up from the foundation Go all the way up. So starting with my settings, we're going to be going into a private lobby, showing you guys some different mechanics, different things that you can do within your own fights. And three, we're going to be going through some clips. I'm going to be talking through the clips, hopefully to give you some general knowledge to make you a better Warzone player. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up or it's two birds up. Don't forget to subscribe for the chads. Let's get in there. All right, first things first. You're on controller. I'll be doing these three things to hopefully make yourself more mobile. One, button layout preset. If you are on a paddled or a modded controller, make sure you got a jump button and you got a crouch button. Those are the two keys that you're going to need. I run three paddles on mine. I have an A, B, and an X. So I do X so I can loot and look down quickly and try to get that as fast as possible. The only time I take my thumbs off of the sticks is when I hit Y. For my weapon swap you do not have paddles on your controller highly recommend running tactical on your controller so that you can get crouch your slide cancels on your right stick the other two that you should be running are in the movement section of your controller and that's slide behavior make sure that's on tap instead of hold and also I am an automatic tack sprint guy on automatic sprint now this is a really tricky setting to get used to this was something that i tried three or four different times to get used to but now that i'm used to it i 10 times out of 10 recommend it whenever attack sprint is available you want to be able to utilize that and when you have this enabled it does it all the time so whenever i may not be pressing the button or whatever the game kicks in tax sprint and it lets me jet around corners and be able to peek somebody all right, so we're going to start with some very basic movements. We're going to build on those to try to make more complicated movements. What I want you guys to think about is if you're a boxer, an MMA guy, you have combos, right? You got a jab, you got a hook, you got an uppercut, you slide, you know what I mean? You do these different movements to keep your opponent guessing. That's how I think about when I'm in a gunfight, right? I might be at a standing stance. I might be crouching. I might be going prone. I'm flicking around a corner. I might be faking a corner. This is how you have to be thinking about when you're in gunfights. So the first one, literally slide canceling. I know this sounds really basic to all my sweats out there, but you wouldn't believe how many COD clips I see and get sent of kids just not even slide canceling across the map. What you need to be doing is sliding, then hitting sprint again. That's when you see all these kids that are tack sliding like this. They're just always tack sliding, always tack sliding. Going around the map with your gun up, sliding and what this also does is if there's a sniper or a dude tracking you that you are you're standing and you're crouching you're just constantly moving your head because you don't want to be a walking headshot tack sliding number one and that is the foundation for everything if you already tack slide i'm not talking to you what you need to be doing is if you are not tack sliding to tack slide this is the foundation of every single movement that we build on top of this this is your jab so now we got our tax slide, right? Let's imagine around this wall that there is a person. This is how you put people on skates. This is how you build on top of a fight, right? There's a guy on the other side of this wall, okay? You got to imagine, right? So we're going around this corner. We both see each other. He lights me up, right? I take a lot of damage. I don't win that first engagement. This is when you have to start thinking about what am I going to do next? Because if you win that first engagement, that fight's over. But if you don't win that first engagement, what you need to do is how are you going to re-challenge this kid? Because breaking line of sight and keeping the opponent guessing is everything within a fight, okay? And what you're going to see in clips is that this is the perfect beginner move. Everything is that it's called a J-turn. And that's how I have coined it. So I tell my buddies what a J-turn is. Go behind cover. And as you're tax sliding behind cover, right? Because your tax sliding is what you're going to be doing to get back under cover. So you lose the engagement, you go back. And as you're going back, you're already turning around. 
This is the J turn, right? This is the J part right here. You come back out with your gun, gun up. So half speed. We're going here, losing engagement, tack sliding down. But as you're tack sliding, you're turning. Okay, that's that's the turn, right? The full speed, right? Shoot, lose, and you're jumping so much further because you're in that tack slide and you're trying to get out of here, right? Versus, you see how the jump is way different? So just jumping out of here versus getting momentum already turning around and coming out, right? So boom, lose engagement, can't even go back, I'm faking it, right? Or you wanna go here, you lose engagement, okay, I'm gonna peek him again, oh, he's fucking looking, all right, I'm gonna juke this side again, right? So it's just keeping your opponent guessing. Now, the second one that you can do is a bunny hop. You guys don't know what a bunny hop is, is when you hit the ground after a jump, there is a very, very small window. You can hit another jump for free. There's no mobility cost. What you're gonna be doing is you hit here and then you hit it again. It looks crazier on the person screen than on your screen. It doesn't really look like you're doing a lot. But in pre-games or get on a buddy, you do this with the buddy and bunny hop in front of them just to show them what it looks like, right? So we have we have our tax slide going into our J turn. Now we can bunny hop or B hop out of it. Here we go, back in cover. We're going to lose engagement. J turn, right? Out here, bunny hop. Come so even further. Look at look at look where I'm at on this crate, okay? So just regular jump. That's a regular jump from the middle. Okay, we're gonna be doing a tack slide into a J hop or a J turn, J turn, almost by the box. This is a really good way to find another sight line and completely keep your opponent guessing. So we got slide canceling, got J turning, we got B hopping. All of those things putting together and using them in different fights and different situations is gonna be crucial. If you don't win your first engagement in your first challenge, how are you going to repeat your second challenge? Because what's not going to help is you lose this gunfight and you sit down here and you plate. That's definitely not the move. Is you're behind here and you're just plating and he's going to either push you on either side and you have to react fast, right? So with all that being said, hopefully you can build on top of these. That is the basic foundation where it's going to keep building these pieces and learning when you're in gunfights, how you can utilize each one of these things. So for the last part of this video, what I wanted to do was go through these movements that we just built on and put them live into Warzone, hopefully getting the gears turning and making you think about how you take your fights. Okay. Oh man, I'm gross. You guys see that I'm peeking multiple angles. I'm very quick with it. And when I get the chance, when I have a shotgun, I know I got to push. So I'm coming in from the game. I just won my gulag. I get the chest. I get a shotgun. I start taking shots. Immediately when you start taking shots, I'm not trying to challenge. I'm trying to get behind cover because I have a shotgun. So there's no way that I can try to challenge this. Get behind cover. See where he's coming either my left or my right. He's on my right side. ADS. Get a shot off. Peek on the left side immediately because I know if he's, he, he, he has two options off of me hitting him right there. I keep pushing that side or back off and try to come the other side. So I'm already beating him onto this left side. I'm already, if, if he peeks here, he's getting a shot, which he does, right? So I have two shots on him now. What I'm doing now is I'm gonna throw some fakes in just trying to see, gauge where he's at. Right there, he's not right. So when he's not right, I auto automatically know I can try to push up on him. I'm sliding, trying to change how I'm taking the fight. So I'm not jumping into him. I'm going under, trying to aim up and hit a headshot. And I get the easy kill. Oh man, I'm gross. No fucking chance you took my shit. Jesus, 
shit. Alright, so for this clip, I come back from the gulag and all my guns are gone, which is a very, very sad thing. And I swear to God, if you were taking my guns, I'm coming for that ass. I land in on my body. Shit, so no there's nothing fucking there. Fucking chance you took my shit. So I gotta look for a gun now and just kind of restart. Got the Bison, Diamatis. SMGs and pistols have crazy mobility. I usually always try to have one early game because it allows you to move around the map faster, try to get as much money as possible to get that loadout. I hear one outside. I hear him to my left, right here around this window on the left side of the screen. Pause, evaluate. I hear him. He's probably going to be peeking through this wall. I have the Diamati out because close range, the Diamati shreds. I peek, I get a burst on him, and I'm out. I know he's probably got my guns. And I hear the MAC-10 right after that engagement, knowing that I got a MAC-10 that I can deal with, with a Bison and a Diamati. I go for the re-peek. He's gone. Then he has to go either left or right. I hear him go left. I hear him jump through the window. I try to get a burst off. I try to cut him off. I've got to keep constant pressure on this guy because if this kid was good with a MAC-10 and he knows I have a Diamati, he's pushing me. And I can just tell immediately that I got to put constant pressure on this kid because this kid is not good. Putting pressure. I'm not even hitting my shots. I'm just peeking corners trying to put pressure on him. Miss all those shots. I see he goes back inside. He peeks me. And as he's peeking me again, he has a MAC-10. He can shred me. I got no heals. I got two plates. I go up the stairs. Break line of sight. Come back. Re-peek it. I get a couple more shots on him. I'm chasing him. He has to go inside the hallway to the right. You got to think about how the building looks. He's in the solid right. He's probably going to peek me again. I just predict it. I hit him with a drop shot, shot as he jumps. <laughs> Bottom superstar, where he got loadouts on this one? I hear two sets of footsteps come through this door. I see him, peek him. Jay turn out of it. Completely clueless where I'm at. So what this dude thinks I'm gonna do is peek the other side. I lose that gunfight, J turn, and I have his back to me. And the teammate helped me kill the other guy. So this is when I just posted on Instagram. I get the burst off from this first guy. I have no clue how this first guy did not kill me. But this is another J turn, right? Yeah. Except on this one, what I do is I slide under because i know if i probably jump i'm already super super low health i need to try to go under his fire because if i go across his screen he's probably going to kill me because while you're jumping there's a small window where you can't shoot your gun Days, I, I get the thirst don't know how he doesn't kill me i j i j turn under and get the easy turn around for the break All right, babe. Jesus. this one is one of my favorite clips because this dude is Crazy. So I'm already going into super. I'm getting blasted. Shotgun, floor loot, only thing I can do. I'm getting behind this wall right here to the right. I'm J turning. I'm peeking, getting my shotgun shot off. I'm sliding back into cover. And it's this constant peak of jumping out of cover and sliding back into cover. This clip right here is a really good one to talk through because this one shows you situational awareness, winning the repeak, and this is ego chow. This guy beams me. I lose the first gunfight. I break line of sight. I work around the building trying to get another angle. I played up. It's ladder, I think. Listening, crouch walking. I don't see him. I'm trying to look at the last place that I saw him. Stun out, no stun hit. He stuns me. I throw my stun out to try to stun him. We're both stunned. That's it. I peek, I'm completely lose it, and the ego chat. Try to get me. Slow. We're going to walk through this, right? I get my stun off. When I get a stun hit, I'm 90% pushing. I get the stun hit. He still beams me. What we're probably not going to guess is he's still stunned. And I'm going to ego chat this. I'm going to try to jump into line of sight, right? So I'm jumping across the stream like this, and... Trying to get a beam on him. Back. I'm hit. And I get the kill. Get me. Get on. Bro, he's. Gotta get me, please. I'm dead. No yeah, sweat. Dead. Oh. This one 
is something that you guys can all do. And this is something that off of those private lobby mechanics is something that we can definitely work on together. So, Superstore, FFAR. Beam this kid, he's retreating. He's broke. If I know that I am probably gonna win this gunfight. I'm ADSing every corner, trying to get ready for it. As soon as I slide into this corner, he's sitting right here. Oh my god. Now this kid wasn't the best player, but it shows you what just a little bit of mobility can do for you. Because if I take this first chow, I don't know what could happen, right? If I try to shoot right here, I might be able to get it off and win, but I don't know what gun he has. And he might beam me on this, who knows, right? So just for assurance, I'm breaking line of sight, completely faking this side because there is the bunny hop option, right? Putting those combos together like we just talked about. I could bunny hop into that side, try to take that, but I'm hoping that he just completely turns around and it works out. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking crack. Enemy UAV crack. So train station. I get beamed. I break line of sight. I'm prone. And I'm listening to where he's going to be at. I pop up while ADSing. See him. He's running with me. His gun is up. So he has to still ADS. I get the beam off. off. Switch. Second teammate comes in from behind me. I'm thinking, okay, I can either try to flip around and go behind the counter that I was just at, but I don't, and I try to ego challenge. So I'm sliding. I have very, very little cover here, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to bunny hop out. You're going to see that the kid can't keep up with me because he's having to track me versus me just trying to snap onto him. So I have very little cover here. My shield just broke. And I'm going to bunny hop across. And I'm gonna win this gunfight. What? Just a simple bunny hop. It's hitting the tax sprint, guns up, and just bunny hopping real quick. <laughs> this is their third teammate at the bottom that I'm about to show you. What? <laughs> With me. This is the third teammate on that team. Now he's under me. I hear him. Pushing me now. I see that he's in here. I'm sliding past the door and he's already shooting at me before I am ready to shoot at him. So I'm breaking line of sight. I'm going around the corner, bringing him back and I'm challenging the other side because what he does is he starts to push me out of the window while he's mantling. These last two clips are um, more situational awareness. On this one right here, I completely fail because I get way out of hand and this is where situational awareness comes in so much with your mobility because you're trying to be crazy around the map sometimes i get way out of pocket and i think i can challenge everything and i'm feeling confident what i need to be doing is in these times just at the end of this clip right here there are so many people around us and what my biggest error is as a player is when i start feeling confident i need to be able to dial it back and reevaluate the situation Army. never mind full heli Let's see this guy down here. We're just chasing one kid. Our goal was to get out of downtown, but the fuck this is not the So oh, some text at the <laughs> at the helicopter. Oh. We get the knock up top. We get a team white. So it says there's two more still below us on the red ping. I'm down. I have a deddy and I have about half a mag left of my stopping power rounds with my Mac 10. Fucking helicopter! I'm deadied. Two of them. Okay. I know for sure I can take one, and if I can try to be fast enough in this fight, I can try to repeat this. Do a J turn, right? What I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna show you guys, real time, is I kill. I get one down. I go around the corner. And I come right back, and I got his back turned to me. Easy two kill. Mark out, I'm going. Oh my god. Dude, I guy out of the We saw more people. I hear this guy. Wait, where are you, Chad? What in the world? He's not relevant. Huh? I like the name. Oh, it's this way. Dude, there's two in the creek right now. <laughs> I like the name. I just got. <laughs> what? There's guys here. What? 
So there's more down here. We're just oh, vibing as a team me, right down now. Down down two there's guys me. everywhere. I get a right res up. Right, 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 I go right, right, for down. UAV. Oh, he's self res though. You fucking losers, man. I'm looking where my teammate just died. Shit on. Oh my god. There's a guy behind me. So he gets that kill. Coming a Chad behind you. Chad behind you on the bridge. I get another calm that the kid that I just looked at be peeking. Looking at you through that hallway. Looking at you, free aiming. Uh, on me. We're getting clustered. Got to buy back Jared when you can. Oh, you're. We have one down. I close doors around me. I hear the guy in the street to my right. This is the dude I try to challenge. Jared, you're muted. Oh, no, no. So I blew him. Knowing that there is, I have a guy down to my left. I have this guy blued. But this is another team that there are still two up somewhere that I have not seen. No, I'm not. I just. So I'm leaving cover. I'm challenging this guy in the middle of the street by in line of sight of the guy that I just knocked that I got comms for. Knowing that there's probably more by that guy. He's either getting res or he's self resing. I just don't know what the fuck we're doing over on the plus side, I'm peeking this kid, right? We're doing the turns around the van. I'm pre-shooting, pre-aiming. Accidentally mantle, but thank God it worked out. It's Get crazy. that kill. And now their team knows where I'm at. I have, I'm literal one shot. And I end up selling it because I got way too aggressive. So my situational awareness was terrible right there. We end up losing. That was actually bananas. Maybe it could be a mod one day. <laughs> yeah, dude. And that's where <laughs> the best Call of Duty players, it's not all about your shots. It's about being able to know when to take fights. So what I should have done is stayed in my room and been able to evaluate. Because we had control of buy station. We have control of cover. And everybody else around us has to try to maneuver to get to us. <laughs> so many people right there. This last clip is a 1v2. You guys have seen a lot of these on my Instagram. Um, this is where mobility and situational awareness at its highest for me is when I have to split solo. Um, you guys see the pings over here. They're all moving towards their own pings. I have to take, I know that these guys are over here. They got a res over here. And I have to take this team on by myself. It's a duo. And I have to do this because I know that if we don't, we're gonna get pinched by these guys. And the guys that my teammates are about to go fight. I make comms before this clip. But nobody oh, listens. Sniper. sniper here, sniper here. The guy drop in. Moving. Yeah, yeah, top Oops. green, top green. I got a cluster for them if they peek. They're Try to go for shots, else, get a couple They're shots off. In the fields. So I'm solo now. You guys see all the arrows in the top left. They're nowhere to be found. I break glass. They know I'm here now. Checking the room. Just peeking, peeking the staircase because you, you guys got to remember if you guys play this game a lot, you know where people usually just sit. Top of staircases, dark hallways, and it's usually the same in every building. Who's green? Pushing up. Pino, Pino. I know that they're near now. Pino. Guy top of the stairs, like I just said. I, get, I blew him. Those are Molotov. I have to reposition myself because I can't push through a Molotov. I'm plating up, I'm breaking line of sight, I'm that. disengaging, I hit the window, hopefully they think that I'm jumping out. I'm down this kid. I'm jumping out immediately because you guys know when you go down, you're calling out constantly, your life pinging. I am exposed at this point. They're not there, they jumped in the bar. Go around the corner. I'm plating up. So he has no idea where I'm at other than I broke glass. And this way, I'm, he's probably gonna jump out the same window. Thinking he jumps out the same window as I did, try to be looking for me. I see the shadow drop down, so he did follow me. I'm plating up. Okay, I'm getting up the other side. High ground is king. They just jumped off. I have I a gas you. mask. I know I can just yeah, yeah, chill bar, for a second. Knowing that I have roof, this roof is clear. I'm just seeing where this guy's at. He could be behind the wall. He could be behind the truck. He could be on the left wall. He could be under me along the building. So I'm peeking, I'm peeking, going. I'm going off. And I see this guy finally right here, right on the left side of the screen. He kept running. The DMR out, and win that gunfight. Yeah, they're going into this green. They're going into this green building. Oh. Miss me? Uh, Rapper's here. Hope you learned something. Hope this helped.
comment if you got any more questions leave a like sub and i'll see you guys in the stream